we have an escapee. Brine them overnight and then bake them up tomorrow. What are you doing? It's victory punch. <laughs> I'll just show you really quick how we confirm uh, that they're roosters by vent sexing before we harvest. Oops, we have an escapee. Come here, bud. Okay, since this bird is not feather sexable, meaning we can't tell if he's a rooster just by his feathers, the only way to tell is by behavior and by vent sexing. Hens will go bald from being bred, but if there's blood, usually that's a little bit more aggression than mating just competition between the roosters. Um, we're gonna flip this guy over, pull the tail feathers back, and then I squeeze at the top. That foamy substance is sperm. So this is definitely a male. He's gonna go to freezer camp today and we'll put him out of his misery before he gets too much worse. Our grow out quail turned six weeks old, which means today is a harvest day. When quail reach maturity, the roosters start fighting over the hens, and we have to cull them before they kill each other and ruin all the meat. This footage is a bit sped up for, for the sake of this video, but if you're interested in learning how to process a quail, I will link a step-by-step -step video in the description down below. sure this was a rooster. I was so sure. I vent sexed every single one of them. Give you a close up view. This one would have been next. It's a little white spot there. It might have been fertilized. I don't know. Shoot dang. That's why we gotta get rid of those tuxedo varieties. Alright lovely lady. Okay, so as we cleaned, we just dropped them in this ice water to keep them fresh. Each bird gives us about a four ounce serving. We usually do about two birds per person. So this would feed about six people and we'll probably brine them overnight and then bake them up tomorrow. Water is boiling for our brine. I'm just gonna go ahead and make up some dinner for the pups. Just top it with a little extra goodness. I need a spoon. Ah, found one. Just a nice little garnish for their dinner. Mmm, look at that goodness. Tell me your pups are spoiled without telling me your pups are spoiled. Hello, puppies. <laughs> Hello, pups. So our quail has been brining for 24 hours now. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the plastic and it smells so good. I can't really remember what I did in the brine. <laughs> Two quarts of water, a bunch of salt, one of those chicken bouillon cubes, uh, rosemary, thyme, garlic powder, this Jamaican jerk seasoning that I love. So I sprinkled a little bit of that in there and then a couple of clumps of brown sugar. So now we're going to uh, dump out the brine, we're going to throw in some rice, onion, celery, and cream of mushroom, homemade bone broth, and a little bit of bacon. Okay, quail casserole hot out of the oven. I guess you could, you could try to make it look a, a little prettier than I do, but hopefully the taste will make up for it. Nice. Can I eat it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're waiting for something. No, I'm just waiting right. for you to eat it. Tell me what you think. Oh, yeah. Mm. I, um, just I was just kidding. having a spiritual experience. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to eat these without my shoes on. It's so good, I got I to gotta have room to wiggle my toes. <laughs> I'm just being real. It's okay, I can eat with my fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, you can eat with your fingers because we're really not fancy like Applebee's. I'm not a chef. This is not a cooking channel. That's really good. I like the the brine you used. Oh yeah? What all do you put in it? <laughs> like and subscribe. What are you doing? It's victory punch. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Not making that kind of video. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right.